ยามเลนเชสมรเวดะจีเดเลียดูสลัมดูมดูดาจีเอ่อยามเลนเชสเดเลียดาลาบะซุมกินยามเลนสถาบะลาบะซุมกินยามเลนตัดโซเดลาบ
we have to, you know, uh, the, the world that we live in, uh, we should not exploit it for uh, some uh, temporary benefit now, but look at it as our mother. Uh, so the, the mother that has given us uh, all the benefits and all the, uh, the right conditions, uh, and we need to nurture that mother, we need to, you know, take care of that mother. Rather than just uh, to sort of consider it's kind of think, material think that we can taking out, we can use it. I think we need to consider it's a kind of mother. Nurtures us, nurtures us. We need the generation to generation. We need this loving mother. And that means you don't think that was a balance. Nigga, the total the balance. No, you see, but some day you need to the condition when you get some of the mass. I be I'm casting as a selfish summer. Randy, you see, so so get to you to the summer. Jiggy, kind of Randa singing. And other than that, uh, we also uh, make mistakes in, you know, because of our selfishness or self-centeredness, uh, we think about our own selfish kind of benefits and then ignore the benefit of others, the all other uh, beings. So therefore, in that way also, we sometimes we make lots of mistakes on like what to what to take on and what to give up that is you know benefit beneficial and useful in the long term ignore <laughs> This, of course, this also has many different levels. Uh, sometimes for the, uh, be some benefit or the, some comfort of an individual, then we kind of ignore and we, uh, we do things which is uh, <coughs> harmful to the benefit of many others. And I know Jim, just as a seminar, だ、ゲームチキケベンチェド。あの、ゲームしながら数えた。ち、数えた。し、ゲームしながら、だから、しでだ。だなしんげ。でど。てずれんあず消すしや。だなしみじ、みじぴんす。ちゅちゅるぴ
for our short-term benefits. So many, many of these type of things uh, happening. So the, the right conduct in short is this, that knowing this, you know, understanding uh, what is the, the best one, what is better uh, in the long term uh, for ourselves and others, and then accordingly, you know, uh, that kind of motivation, that kind of action, uh, we try to uh, we try to act. We try to uh, use our actions in that way. Uh, that is what we call the right conduct. That ne lava sumi na ne that nibadi tingin zigi lava am. That the meditation sana chukumadu tingin zigi lava sana. The second training is the training of samadhi, which is we call sometimes meditation. One reason that many of us who are practicing Dharma do not have great progress is because of this, that we don't have a good meditation. Uh, our shamatha and vipassana meditation is not up to the standard, and thereby, you know, our practice do not progress as the way we want it to be. Expected. As we expect it. So the first, the shamatha meditation is to kind of focus our mind, to channel our mind into one, uh, one point. Like for instance, you know, if you put the water in a pipe, then it goes kind of uh, <clears throat> very forceful from that. Uh, otherwise, at the moment, our mind is very scattered. Uh, it's not kind of uh, gathered together. It is not forced or kind of focused together. Uh, so therefore, uh, it's sometimes we have, you know, the dullness, not very clear, unclear, unfocused, uh, not sharp. So this meditation makes our mind uh, uh, clear, sharp, uh, and the best time for the practice of shamatha. And another way, it's the worst. The worst, 
Tirum Yusaji Vinalo Lea. Intent, intent means summer daji. Daji Kashwata. Entertainment. Senator of Tagada? Dunzi, Nami game on which she would charge him. Kashwata Ji. Tabenji is Anji. Internet is armed. The Dana is cell phones are Kasha. Smartphone. Smart no. So, in the 21st century, it's the worst in one way because we have too much entertainment, too much distraction. We have all those gadgets uh, that he mentioned already. And so therefore, you know, some people think that <laughs> there is, uh, you know, there's no hope for somebody to cultivate shamatha in this century. Mm. Yeah, relatively difficult so in order to develop this shamatha meditation uh, for the beginners especially we need to cultivate the solitude and solitude means the like outer solitude to have or to create conditions that there are not many disturbances and then the inner condition to have less thoughts and disturbances in the mind. So these kind of conditions are quite difficult to create in this kind of environment. Mm. Uh, Similar On the other hand, you know, this 21st century it could be one of the most, you know, the kind of best uh, time or the best uh, opportunities the right to, time the right time to practice uh, shamatha because you know uh, we are we are so busy we have become very very busy and there's so many things so many pressures so many you know uh, uh, stress so therefore uh, there is a a, a realization or understanding coming that it, it becomes necessary that we have to calm down our mind and to find peace of our mind. Uh, it's not an optional, but it becomes very necessary. So this realization is becoming clear. Mm. 
Nam Yungi Sine, Chagashimu Sine, Nimina, and a Tazidu. The Wemba then does it chamber watch. Daddy, Kudukudu, Susubana, Dronaya, G. Sinegoya, Dena, Sinegoya, San Antado, Daganda, Music Jalam, Kangi Negolanda, Zikomayo, Kudukudu, Delia. And especially unlike just Samatha meditation, the Samatha meditation of Mahamudra is something that you can practice that in any situation, in any kind of uh, situation of the life. For instance, even if you are you know, traveling, you are walking, you can practice that even if you are sitting. You can practice that in all, you know, situations of the life. Uh, you can practice that, and that is a kind of support, supposed to be the the specialty of the shamatha that's taught uh, through Mahamudra. Uma mizigi kamaba. Sumba, continue Sumba and Jundo Zilea, condition is Goma Goma Global, the Sangian drag, Tangazi Orvis. I was a more Goma Global Sangian drag, Tangazi Orvis. The Yavi Nangarj Narosi is Shivers. Tangun is in the Chosini Horada. That Zilea and Munition <laughs> Cazelamnicurangi, the third Gamapa Rangjundurje was asked by one of his students this question. Uh, is there a way, do you have an instruction that uh, without doing any meditation that I can become enlightened? So generally, you know, it's quite difficult. It's stupid question. Uh, a stupid question. <laughs> but then the third Gamapa said, Yes, actually there is a way, there is an instruction uh, that uh, without any meditation you can become enlightened. But even if I give it to you, it will not benefit you because you will try to meditate that and you will try to do something, you will try to kind of uh, cultivate something and you will not be able to do without meditation. So that's why it is not going to benefit you. Chazan Chagashimbu bombs that one is in a gom go bad dog. I'm sorry. One is in that gom magoba. So you jam magoba. That didn't the days, no? That thing as it understands with Chetumar, that Karina Chiadum with the Chitter. This is the problem. So even if you say in, to Mahamudra, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to meditate, you don't have to change or, you know, alter anything. But we, ha we, we, we try to alter something, we try to meditate, we try. So this, it's very difficult for us to understand that we, we can do something or we can, we can be without meditation or trying to altering or try to change things. That we, it's, for, it's very difficult for us to understand this. 
we all know the human mind is kind of, sometimes we call it monkey mind, monkey. It's so disturbed, so much. Uh, we used to sort of do uh, We used to be pretentious. Pretentious or dis disturption, some of that. Dis dis disturbed. Used to do something like analyze or you used to sort of think something, do something. That's why even the teacher told you, okay, this practice, no need, do anything. Just relax and be with you. But, but we are always like, you know, not relaxing. Um, always want to, you know, we can't understand, you know, we are not because we are not. Uh, kind of uh, settled we we no, don't feel uh, feel um, maybe we think it's too easy you know too easy actually why it's very difficult to do this sort of meditation practice because it's so difficult or because it's too easy I think answer is too easy. That's why we don't know how to do. Today in Jusane, today in Jusane, that Kandarji chakit chimbi, that Nyamlen Sadi, Kandarji Nazuki Nangu, that Kumji chimbi Komba, that Kandarji Nazuki Komba di, that. So therefore, you know, the, the practice is because we are so used to, this is our habit, this is our habitual tendency to always kind of uh, uh, to do something, to, to change something, to, to cultivate something, to be busy. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's our habitual tendency. So therefore, when somebody asks, just to relax, just be natural, it is very, very difficult for us to actually understand how to do that. Uh, so therefore, the here, what we have to learn is slowly, you know, learn how to, how to relax, how to let be, how to be natural uh, without, you know, being busy and trying to, uh, trying to change and uh, alter things. Although there are many different ways of uh, practicing the shamatha meditation, uh, many masters uh, kind of prefer this technique of uh, kind of concentrating or uh, focusing on our breathing. Caressana, because uh, the breathing is something that 
we need to do anyway. It's natural. We can't do without breathing. Uh, so therefore, it's not something that we have to, you know, something that we do or that is there when we meditate and which is not there when we don't do and we don't meditate. It's not like that. Uh, it's something which is naturally there and we have to do it anyway. So therefore, when we focus on the breathing, then we are not, you know, creating something, some new thing, or uh, we are not doing something that is not usually not doing when we are not meditating, but we are just putting our focus or the concentration on something that is, you know, natural and that's happening anyway with ourselves. So that's why I feel that this uh, using the breathing in the meditation of shamatha is, uh, is preferable. But some people, they are doing this breathing meditation, they just relax. <sighs> like they want to sort of, how to say, because they are thinking, I'm the doing meditation, I should do something, no? very specially or unusually. <laughs> but you forgot, you're always breathing, no? No need to breathe, now, attentionally, you're already breathing, just relax on, you know, on the breathing, just, maybe you just focus, you just, just, uh, <coughs> aware of somebody, Aware of. Yeah. Just be aware of the breathing. Just be aware of the breathing. That's all. But you know, just, you know, something like you intentionally want to breathe or something. Always this problem. I also have some problem because the, sometimes the doctor comes, they says, okay, injection. Relax. Then I'm just not relaxing. <laughs> Better to not. Would it better to say, no, relax. No, no, no. Maybe it's more relaxing. Then they say, relax, then I'm just... <laughs> That's why sometimes this relaxing, these words also makes us no relax, more tension, more pressure. That's why in the future, maybe no need to say relax. Just you are okay. Today in this time, can that do this again? Can that same day? And then I should be Namdo. Nasulia, the Ben Namdo, Tando, Simli, I've been in Focus Chevy Colia. Can you hire us? That's a little bit of a Namdo chicken tolly and meek bird with chest. ยานําตัวสาวจิเลงกรุงลําซาชาเรียนดิสานําตัวญิงบัตติคอเลยามุทุนมีบัตเตมาตุเฉจิเฉนอะนี่ยังเบตชูเฉกัสโนตาจิติ
the, the thoughts will keep on coming, keep on coming, keep on coming. So we don't need to kind of uh, only focus on the past thought that uh, we, we should just let it be and relax and, and, and let the thoughts be. Uh, so when we know how to do that, we're just being aware of the kind of the flow of thoughts, then uh, it's not necessary that we should hold on uh, a thought that is kind of focused. Uh, so this understanding is very important. Generally, the shamatha and vipassana has to be, you know, like one after another in the right sequence. First, shamatha, then, you know, as a result of that, vipassana, so this has to go in this order. But in the practice of Mahamudra, sometimes there's a kind of a, a, the, the union of Shamatha and Vipassana. Uh, we can do it together. Uh, in the in the kind of classical texts we have lots of descriptions of shamatha and vipassana and the measure uh, measure how to all, measure all the how to measure you know, reach and things like that which is quite complicated and you know difficult uh, so maybe not going into that uh, if I just go to the practical point and say a few things about that maybe how, it will be more beneficial how to practice this you know union you know. how to practice this union of Okay. When an emotion or a thought arises that is of anger, for instance, or hatred, Uh, so we don't need to, you know, try to stop it or not to have, we don't have to have lots of kind of uh, aversion uh, towards that. Doubt, someone with aversion to doubt. Doubts. And I think you are not the Jesu Johnson and John do. It is also not that we have to be uh, together with that uh, thought or arising. Aware of so just being aware of that arising, just be mindful of that arising. Nature, to, nature. Of that nature. So to have, just, just look at what's happening. Not try to find the nature or try to kind of that not means it's to analyze, to try to find out what's the nature, you know, 
not that mean, not that mean. Look at the nature, not that means uh, like you try to sort of, what's the nature of thought, like emptiness or not, or something. Not that mean, not that mean. Just, just look at it. I don't know. That didn't really change me, no? Because I don't know what to do. But I don't know what to do. Dembe, Gabdemi, Everson, and Dado. Got a Kung Drobji, should I have said? Kung the Gimzer, which I'm having in your son? That Kung the Gimzer is Jerry, you know? Or a Kung the Gimzer, which I'm having in your son? Click, click, or never the Chung Ru, Chung Ju. Koran Koran Karsu does it. But a Mik Kung me, Lumi, Zunisha, in your son, Dago. Kung de Aru, Gimze de Aru, Mary in his, and Galicola Koran Koran Wand with such a Galicola. Because when uh, a negative emotion arises, then if you just let it be, then because it doesn't have uh, a kind of a, a good reason or a proper kind of a, um, uh, the the truth behind it. Uh, so therefore, uh, they kind of uh, slowly disappear. Like for instance, uh, if there is a person who is telling lies, uh, so uh, when he tells lies, then s s we find out that those lies, and so therefore he kind of slowly those, that person kind of disappears because you know, his importance becomes you know, not because people realize that this lie, and so therefore the the strength of the person kind of degrades and disappears. In the same way, uh, these negative emotions kind of naturally become less and less strong because it doesn't have a truth or true reasoning behind it. That's why we would no need to sort of when the sort of negative emotion arise, no need to be. Be f f fear, no need fear, to be afraid, or nervous. Just look at that sort of nature or that situation, aware of that situation. Then I think it's kind of this that the negative emotion is kind of like the person telling lie, lies more because no. True, truth behind, nor sort of really reason. reasonable. That's why when you look at that, that is kind of it's that negative emotion is kind of xian. Like you get, if you're telling a lie and it's found out, then you become ashamed and you kind of. Uh, Withdraw. It's then the negative, negative emotion has become more sort of weak and more sort of, um, how to say, become, become smaller or something, kind of less, become. That thing is a little bit I just that thing is, you know, the Zawa Chungjing is to the you these may not totally uproot the negative emotions, but this can uh, help. Mm. So this is uh, what we call the union of uh, shamatha and meditation, uh, vipassana, because, you know, your mind is in peace, and within that peace, you are aware 
and mindful of the 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 arisings uh, uh, thoughts happening in your mind so therefore you know uh, it's kind of a true mindfulness and true awareness uh, in a, in a kind of state where it is peaceful uh, then you recognize you recognize practically the, the the kind of nature of your mind and then that's the the instruction or the training of the meditation and the third is the training of wisdom and this is something that would really uproot uh, the uh, the negative emotions uh, and this is the method to to actually you know understand the nature no. And this is not just an understanding. It's what we we what we call wisdom or shirab. It's not just an understanding or an intellectual understanding. It is something that you experience, you are kind of directly, uh, you know, directly experience uh, the, the way things really are. That he called me, she asked, 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 she Zuigi, and actually, you know, you, most of you have been students of the 16 Kamapa, or the students of the 16, you are, have been student of the students of the 16 Kamapa, uh, the lamas that I have myself re re devotion and respect. Uh, so therefore, maybe in one way, I am junior than you. Uh, so therefore, to talk about the Mahamudra and things like that in front of you is not so suitable for me. Suitable for me then? <laughs> I say something but okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And that Tame 
and the, this Mahamudra practice is not something that we can achieve or realize through, you know, that ordinary kind of efforts. Uh, it's not something that can be realized through, like, working hard or, you know, through doing, like, an, a usual kind of efforts and things like that. Uh, the only way this can be, you know, experienced or cultivated or uh, this can arise in us is through the uh, the blessings uh, of the masters and your devotion. Uh, so when these two things come together, then naturally this experience arises. Uh, so therefore, you know, uh, we do this uh, the empowerment of 84 siddhas in the afternoon. All these 84 Mahasiddhas or the great realized beings uh, are like that. Uh, because of the, the blessing or the, the kindness and compassion of the teacher and their you know, devotion, because of these two kind of meeting together, they became, you know, siddhas or the realized beings. So Sometimes when we talk about this tradition of Vajrayana, uh, then, you know, sometimes the Lama becomes something a little bit fearsome or something a little bit... Uh, no, no. Yeah. It's a kind of sometimes the teacher has become like fearful. Dangerous. Oh, wrathful. Really? <laughs> No. <laughs> wrathful, I don't think so, wrathful is. No, some people think it's maybe they have the pressure because the teacher sometimes, maybe, maybe teacher give them fear or they give them fear, we don't know, but there's some sort of fear comes from the teacher because of something. I think they have some misunderstanding. That <laughs> And so therefore the you know in the practice of Bajrayana we we have to look at the teacher as a as is like a good friend because we call it Kalyana Mitra, the you know, spiritual friend or a good friend. Uh, it has to be like a friend, very trustworthy and you know, a completely trustworthy kind of a friend who uh, we have 100% kind of a trust and very close to our heart. Uh, uh, so that kind of a friend, and not just a friend like, you know, uh, drinking together friend or, you know. Alcoholic friend. <laughs> but good friend, that, that, that will give us or lead us to 
the right direction and you know uh, in, the, in the very uh, long term benefit so this kind of understanding and the, the deep trust uh, is very important to uh, to have in the you know the connection with the teacher that's why in the past history we have very good example that the teacher and student working close together closely like you know almost every day in the ancient time the student mostly with the teacher not far far from the teacher that every day they have some sort of so some kind of discussion or report you know something like walking together not like the teacher is always sit on the throne and say you should do that you need so you need to sort of promise that you need to sort of how to say da kelemba kajuda kelen kelen you have to promise to do this promise or that. Sam. Wow, okay <laughs> promise or, you know, not like that, it's something like walking together very closely. And that m means something almost that the teacher is become a sort of another phase of you or another Kaswadaji Susugi. Kaswadaji. No longer sort of uh, another person is kind of part of you or part of your mind or part of your heart, you can say. I think this is very important, but these days I think we have some problem because the teacher is in somewhere, somewhere in the, like in in the Asia, the student is somewhere in Europe. Uh, we, we have some problem, but I think sometimes this external how shall I, distance. distance is Karsuadaji there's a physical distance but inner kind of nearness. Sometimes even if we stay together uh, physically, we can have lots of distance at, in our mind. That's uh, I think that's very important to have that kind of uh, outlook for outlook. the teacher and student relationship. Not like fearful and, and like it. And also have lots of, you know, become a very conflict. Uh, complicated. Complicated. I think. Complicated. I think this is important. So, Solis, we'll do a reading transmission of the Ngundu. The short Ngundu. I think I need to first, I need to sort of some, exp a little bit of a brief introduction about this short Ngundu. We have traditional, you know, we have one traditional, the long version of Ngondo Sadhana. And this one is the sort of, we call it short Ngondo Sadhana. It's composed by someone, <laughs> mischievous. Okay. Uh, but I think. The reason I'm making this short wonder is one of the, re the big reasons me. 
because I, one year we, you know, people request to me to explain, to introduce all the sort of visualization, how to practice the Ngondo. You know that tradition of Ngondo is very long. I only have three days. Even reading it, I think also have some difficulties, just you know, never finished. That's why I think we, maybe we need short and in the future maybe I can do that, short and Maybe I'm a little bit lazy. And also maybe sometimes it's, it's, it's beneficial for those sort of uh, those uh, student and practitioner uh, usually they are very some people they are very busy the, they don't have the time to read all sort of this long sadhana maybe for them also have some beneficial but i but i'm always encourage people should do this sort of the, the, the traditional one or the longer one. And don't like, you know, because it's composed by my, it's me, that's why then people just like, you know, how to say, people like the new, you know. New. Uh, I think it better to sort of, to practice the traditional one, but sometimes maybe you, you have choice. But Okay. Okay. <laughs> Chang Yellow 
ジェイシャバダランガとバジャンゲトマソトイジネシュアニメバチャジェンドナシソギラカムジュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニュニ